Miami, Bitcoin conference, or something like that. I have never seen as much madness combined in one room. Young money. It's not just young money, weird money. But luckily, Roman and the team of Luxury Bazaar was there, so I could finally talk some watches. And look who the cat dragged into Miami. It was a big cat. It was, it was a, big a big cat. And the first watch he reaches for is the MBNF Perpetual, and rightfully so. The guy that is responsible for this movement. Where is he from? I don't know. Belfast. It's Stephen McDonald. Stephen McDonald completely re-engineered the perpetual calendar for MBNF. An absolute incredible achievement. The cool bit is he is actually from Belfast, my hometown. The media in Northern Ireland is shallow as f no one in Northern Ireland and no one in Belfast knows about this guy. Stephen single-handedly made a huge impact on the watch industry and how we look at the perpetual calendar today. And the media still only looks at TikTok followers and whatever the f that man is f***ing unbelievable. I did not know he was from Belfast. Why am I developing an Irish accent? <laughs> Today? This is the first form of pornography. So you didn't have porn magazines back in the day, and this was on bucket watches. This is a complete modern interpretation, and back in the day they wouldn't move, you see what I mean? But that is a fact. Do you want me to relate any further on this subject? I'm very, very specialized in this. It is a fact! Don't shoot the messenger like These men and women are all made in white gold. <laughs> Incredible day ahead, I'm looking forward to this one. I am about to go on Canadian television, a TV program called E-Talk, where I'm gonna talk about the superstars of Canada wearing incredible watches. That was my debut on television, by the way. No, it wasn't. <laughs> yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. <laughs> Proof or it didn't happen. Let's go in. It is hoogbegaafd. Kijk, op die manier. So this is our professional setup. Hello, Canada. Got your tripod. Got your tripod. We are pros in the YouTube space. While YouTube star Nico Leonard, he knows a thing or two about Lux watches. I want to share my passion for watches and I want to educate people in a fun way and making people enthusiastic about watches. From Jay-Z and Idris Elba to Tom Holland and Ed Sheeran, Nico critiques them all. And so far, the celebs are loving his comments. I have a watch here offered, a lovely Daytona. Yo, quick one. I sent you a yellow gold Daytona, dated today, brand new. Which style? Black. I just got one offered here from an end consumer. I'll pay 55,000. 55,000, no worries. Thank you, bro. Bye-bye. Luxury Bazaar was desperately looking for an Oysterflex Rolex Daytona. And at that same time, a customer of ours offered us exactly the watch that they were looking. I'm buying it at 36 sterling and I'm selling it at 55 US. So let's call the customer, buy this watch from him. Rolex Daytona Oyster flex of 116518 absolutely class lovely dial black dial it's probably the first one in 2022 that they've delivered so i'm quite happy with that i'm not gonna lie Hello. how are you mate you well i have an offer for you realistically 36 grand so that leaves us with a small bite leaves you guys with a, with a good bite as well i'll speak to you and get back to you no worries bro thank you so much keep me posted i wish you a lovely day mate a few minutes later that's brilliant really appreciate that I just bought that Rolex Daytona, so that's good. I'm gonna call Adrian. 55 is deals, done, that's your watch. You're a good man. Cheers, thank you, love you, bye. We made 9% margin, we sold it to a dealer, and the dealer is gonna make another 10% as well. The Oysterflex Rolex Daytona is about 10% more expensive in the US, which means that we can move it to the US with a good profit. And in the US, they can still make a good profit as well. This is me selling watches to dealers, which is an easy job. What I wanna achieve is sell watches to the end consumer. Consumer, making sure that the end consumer gets that bargain. That's the future of Pride and Pinion. So if you want to buy or sell your watch, go to prideandpinion.com. We're achieving two things today. Educating people about watches, making people enthusiastic about watches, mainstream on TV, while we're selling and buying other pieces. Yes! Second day of that Bitcoin conference. Oh, I hated the place. We literally stayed for an hour. In, out, could be arsed. 59.90 rose blue dial. That's some f***ing watch, mate. Beautiful. When man. did you get that? Uh, about two months ago. You barely wore it. 59.90 blue dial, no bother. That's a baller. It's the biggest, it's the biggest cost of coffee in North America. And then I got a call from Dave. DD, Dave, Dave, DD. For those who do not know who Dave and Damon are, driven daily exotics. They basically wreck supercars in LA for the crack. It's Funny, and they invited me over. Say hi to my vlog. I hear a vlog content. We need to do mad. Shit. I'll teach you how to drive. I'm still alive. I'm talking to you. I don't know the <laughs> I am right now. 
<laughs> I'll give you a buzz when I'm in Oto. We get something properly planned. Right, I'll catch you later, bro. We went to LA to see DDE. We made a separate vlog about this. You can find that here. I actually came up with a really cool idea on the London Watch Show. We're going to make a thousand of these caps and just give them away on the London Watch Show. That's what we're going to do. Ow! We made a thousand caps, which we're going to give away for free on the London Watch Show. I have an idea. You see these? Yeah, it's a cap. We will have two people full time collecting data on an iPad and then they get a cap. Okay, that's <laughs> 10,000 pounds worth of caps. No, that's $5,000 worth of caps. It turned out to be 12,000. Yeah. Now we're going to see the antique show. We're going to see Roman, going to see the boys. Now I just want to see what people do, right? Because we have a show to prepare for in March. And I want it to be the best show and the best stand on that entire show. I'm hoping to get some inspiration. This is not a pretty angle. Can we avoid this moving forward? <laughs> What the f are those? Hey mate, listen, there's a wait list for them. <laughs> that two years to find someone stupid enough to want them. That is f***ing insane. <laughs> I love Paul Thorpe, but these shoes, mate. One kilo of over. gold, 100 carats. Look at that. I mean, uh, it's uh, so NZ. Do you not get it, no? I do. Like Nico Z. Like Nico Z. Bro, what are you talking about, man? The functionality of this watch, or the complication, is a perpetual calendar equation of time. Yes. What does the function equation of time do? Explain. It shows you the difference between mean time and solar time. Yes. Depending on the region that you're yes. at, i.e. this one is in Miami. So if you took that to Ireland, it really wouldn't show you the right difference. Yeah. You just got schooled, son. In the watch world, you can never know it all. There's millions and millions of different types of watches. So it is good to have an old fox to help you out sometimes. That's insane. Look at that. Holy Real vintage watch parts. That's That's my first like luxury watch that I have ever owned. Straight after the antique show, I had a watch to deliver to an end consumer. This is Ravi. Ravi is an entrepreneur and business coach. Do you wear this? Uh, oh yeah, every, every once in a while. I kind of wanted something that was more of a daily. So for me, I thought of uh, some matter you can't go wrong. That is the most iconic Rolex ever produced. Introduced in 1953. Doesn't need any introduction. So there's a date function, what we call the Submariner date. The OG Rolex Submariner is the non-date. I love this watch a lot. What if the budget was like 50? What, what's the next level after? I love Submariner. This is not a baby Rolex. This is the f OG Rolex. This is the Rolex that made Rolex big. All right, f it. Let's get that one. Done. This was $100,000. <laughs> Ravi bought himself the discontinued 40 millimeter Rolex Submariner date reference number 116610LN. Ravi is a smart to be fair. If you want to check him out, this is it. Can you put his Instagram here? Yeah, yeah. Thank I you. appreciate you coming all the way out here for this too, dude. This is a very, very good buy. Uh, I like that I'm staying in the Rolex family. Monday, start of a crazy week. It's 10 minutes past nine and I'm actually f***ing late because the watch show just started. Miami watch show. We are gonna look for end consumers that want to buy watches. <laughs> Show's unreal. Roman is selling more watches than anyone else. It's good, it's good. It's good fun like. Man, that is unbelievable. Did you buy that today? I'm trying to work out a trade. This is for me, the watch of 2021. The Vacheron Constantine overseas with the blue dial and precious metal featuring a tourbillon. That thing is and sexy. What do you think of the trade show? It's very interesting. I, I'm learning a lot. I'm trying to figure out where my comfort zone is. This is what a lot of people don't understand. A good buy for you is not a good buy for me and vice versa. Look at how much YouTube is in one spot. Oh my god, are you, are you Roman Shark? Crazy day, f***ing knackered, feet hurting, bought a watch, bought another watch, don't ask, all good. I'll see you tomorrow. I'm not gonna see you tomorrow. I'm gonna see you next week at the London Watch Show. Get your tickets now here. Send me a DM on my personal Instagram account at Nico Leonard Van der Horst. I'm gonna give away five times two tickets.